What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. We got a pretty challenging one today. So I'm going to get started drawing this thing. I was hoping I'd be able to have time to draw it before, but didn't have time. So we're going to just do the best here. Try to make it best I can. Yeah, this one, this one's going to be difficult on, on a bunch of different levels, you know. This foreground is pretty challenging. I'll try to keep it simple. Right? The best thing to do is just keep it simple. So this dome looks really large, but on the paper, it's going to be a little bit smaller. What's going on, Mom? You know, rhetorical question, but how's it going? What's up? Um, the Amanda, it's happening. Oh, only got family in here so far. Where's everybody else at? <laughs> got mom, we got the sister. Where's, there, where's everybody else? Where's my... Where's my YouTube family at? Oh, I need my eraser. Here you. All right, let's try to make this too perfect. I don't want it, I don't want it to be so perfect, right? Let's see, that should be much smaller. This is the problem. Everything is in scale. This giant dome. This cathedral. <clears throat> There's another little tower right here. Oh man, I think I'm drawing it too high up on the page. You know, too late, too late. We're going with it. Going with it. We're just going to... Try to figure this thing out. Just exactly the way I have it. Okay. Should be lower maybe. Where'd my racer go? Did I just lose it? Ugh. Just lost it. Okay. Andy, what's happening? Sharon? SG? What's happening? Don? Zombie? Cool. Got it. We got the quiet crew today. Don't know why that is. You know, it's weird. Some days it's like, like so talkative, and then other days it's like, it's, um, it's quiet. It's like dead. Like, no one, no one out there. Anyone out there? No one out there. But it's okay. It's all good, man. I'm going to keep going no matter what. So I showed up to do some painting, some drawing. So that's all I'm going to do. Just do some work here. Hopefully some good work. Try. Try anyway. You know, I'm going to try to keep this simple, simplified, simplified. Okay, those are pretty important lines, I think. Let's see, we have the mountains back here. These are pretty cool. So, uh, just over the top of that, swoop down. And we have another 
line of mountains. Okay, don't know if they really need to be that prominent or necessary. It's all right. So I see some kind of roof going this way. Another roof going this way. So we can somehow, I can somehow like compose these in a way. Actually, that one's, is that right? It's kind of right. I want to make, I'm going to change the photograph. I'm going to make one coming this way from the bottom just because. kind of want these like staggered kind of diagonals. These are like main ones. I mean, there's going to be a lot of other little things and windows, shapes and stuff, but these are kind of my main kind of zigzagging things. I don't know. You know, we'll have different levels of roofs and stuff. There's a lot going on here, so definitely going to have to like simplify it somehow. This is my main focus, so right there. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that sounds cool, Kenneth. I would love to go see this thing, man. It sounds really amazing. Hopefully I can do it justice, but there's no way I'm, this painting will do it justice, but I'm gonna try. I just, I really like the color harmony of this whole scene, you know, and everything. So it's, it's pretty challenging. I, I know this, this, what I'm doing today is like super duper challenging, so there's only so much I'm going to be able to capture in this little 9 by 12 painting, so we're going to suggest a lot of things here. Hopefully it'll be okay. What's going on, Enrique? Thanks for tuning in. Okay, okay. guess, uh, Moment of moment where all the pain begins. Right now. Okay. Um, which dome is it? Uh, this cathedral of what? Which one is it, Kenneth? Sant Santa Maria del something. I don't know. Yeah, del fresco del flor flor something. I'm not sure. Oh, it's cool to know, uh, Uncle Bosco. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I forget about those steps, you know, um, in the Urban Sketcher book, but it's such a good book. It's such a good book on, like, watercolor, like, simplification of watercolor and how to just do sketches and stuff. Like, I really love the style in there and, and the, you know, the the way that it looks. It's a great book, man. Really great book. But I, I try to... I, tried my best to stick to those principles you know first wash second wash and then like darks and and third wash kind of a thing you know but it doesn't always it's i wish it worked that easily for me most of the time but i feel like it doesn't okay i'm gonna mix up some color here with this sky so i gotta be careful here because it's so, it would be so easy to just put like straight up yellow ochre or like some really bright yellow, but I got to be careful because it's really not that strong at all. It's very gray. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Don, Kenneth typed it in the chat there, whatever dome that is. He's been there, so I trust him more than anyone else here to say what it is. <laughs> trust him more than me. I have no idea. I just found this photo a few months ago and I was like, oh, I'll paint this one day. So, finally doing it. Okay, let's see if uh let's see if I can get this color right. It looks very dark. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Man, it's been a while since I painted a sky like this. Sorry, folks. I'm just taking my time here. 
trying to uh, so I'm trying to mix up see the bottom color there in the middle that's what I'm working on right here but I feel like if I if it when I put it down lighter I think it's gonna work and then I'll just add more red as it goes down you know I feel like it needs to be just a tad bit greener towards the top but you know it's not it's not too necessary But even though the sky, the sky at the top looks green, but if you were to really just pick the color, it's not really green. It's just like a grayish yellow. So it's it's almost like I just need some ivory black into it, like some gray. And then as I go down, I'll add more red into the mixture. I don't know. Let's try this. Let's go for it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, we're going to wash the whole thing. Because when I squint at it, the building's darker than the sky and the background mountains. Foreground's darker. So if I just did a light wash of everything, I should be able to go back over with shadow tones and stuff. It should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, hello, Nora. Hello, uh, person from Egypt. Sorry, I'm not, not sure how to pronounce your name, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hope everything's well. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm scared. Okay. Just go for it. Just go for it. Okay, let's move these brushes and stuff. Okay, we're going to add red as it goes down. Right here. More red. Okay, let's clean that. Oh, too much water. Okay. Okay, this is gonna dry really quickly, so I should have just like did wet into wet. I always underestimate the uh, temperature in my apartment. It's always very hot. I keep it very warm. So like I said, we're just going straight on top. Yep, it's probably a little too strong. But this is all going to dry lighter. It's all going to dry lighter. So, just got to remember that. Let's keep this wet. Keep this bottom edge wet. That's where all the magic happens, right at the bottom on this edge. So, it's a lot easier when you're painting on a slanted uh, board because all the water runs down. And then having that little bead of water will keep everything good, but I don't really have that luxury. So, since I'm painting on a flat surface right now, so I have to kind of just work very fast and keep it wet like that. It's better to work on a slanted surface if possible. You know, like 30 degrees or 20 degrees, something like that. Trying to get some different colors in these first washes. Showing some depth and distance and then warmer as it comes towards us a bit, I guess. <laughs> Don't ask me like I know what I'm doing. Put this in there maybe later, be some buildings and stuff. Might be a little too warm.
Yeah, the bottom, there is purple and stuff in the bottom as well, but. It's all right. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. We'll just see how that, how this turns out. That's the first wash, pretty much. I like the variation, you know, I think it's, you guys are looking at it, it's pretty bright the way you guys are looking at it, I apologize. I always have to light it, the camera up for the uh, pencil sketch because the paper is so white and so bright that my camera kind of adjusts for that type of thing. But once I get color down, then I got to adjust the camera a little bit. I try to be brave, Sharon. I try to be, but uh, we'll see. See what happens here. So I'm trying to plan out the next layer here, and I'm trying to stick to what Uncle Bosco reminded me earlier about the, the Urban Sketcher book. So I'm trying to think of like, okay, this next layer. I kind of missed the mountains here. There's kind of you know, I don't know. Maybe I just leave it the way it is, really soft and kind of suggestive for the background. And then uh, I just go straight into the building, I think. You know, we don't really need to have so defined mountains back there or anything. At least not for this painting, I think. Because it's not really the focal point, right? Like, hopefully, I don't know. Almost there, folks. Almost dry. <laughs> so you can see it dried a lot lighter, luckily. Uh, so now we have, now we just have a toned paper to work with. I love working with toned paper. I got the toned sketchbooks, got the toned paper here now that I've toned it. You know, they make toned watercolor paper I was thinking about ordering some eventually. Uh, I can't remember what company makes it. I think it's Stonehenge, possibly. I don't know. There's probably a few different ones, but uh, yeah, they have like some toned watercolor paper. It could be pretty cool to just play around with. Um, you know, they have like tan, they have like light blue, they have green, like a light green. They got all these different colors. So I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. It'd be interesting to like try and just see what kind of harmony, like a, a certain kind of tone of paper can make, you know, I don't know, it's just an idea. I still want to eventually try like the urban sketcher approach of adding some uh, ink into the uh, Yeah, I want to add some ink to these watercolors eventually. I'm getting there, folks. I'm getting there. We can see with my ink drawings, I'm, I'm starting to have watercolor, so maybe I'll start adding ink to the to the watercolor. So we got a quote here from the book from Uncle Bosco. Thank you for that. He says, to quote the urban sketcher, uh, quote, whatever aspect of the sketch is most important to you, which is this building, and some of these suggested things around the building, needs the greatest intensity of these three factors. Placement, okay, contrast, okay, so hopefully that's going to be my darkest values in here, or at least the greatest contrast, and detail, yeah, okay, so detail. So that means this foreground, we can't sit here and do all these little tiny stuff, you know, we can do a little bit here, but this is where all the 
more precise detail, darkest contrast. Thank you for that, Uncle Bosco. There we go. That's what I always try to remember. I always try to say that. I can't believe in the drawing I missed something. You guys see that? I actually missed this like cone-shaped thing to the left. Oh man, should I paint that thing in? Maybe I should paint it in or just leave it out. I, I kind of didn't make room for it in the sketch here. It'd be kind of weird if I just left it out, but I think I could fit it in. It's just going to overlap this dome a little bit more than I wanted, but doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's go back to what Uncle Bosco just said. Doesn't really matter, right? This is like the main focal point. These are just su like supporting elements, but you know, maybe just suggesting that little dome in there. But it would be cool. So So now I'm struggling with, okay, so when I, when I squint at this building, I'm struggling with the roof tiles here, the red, and then like kind of the grayish blue underneath, grayish blue stone of the building. So does that mean I have to do this building in two different layers? So I'm going to have to do like an overall shadow kind of blue purple weight and then do the red tiles. And then the, you know, the dark, dark windows and stuff and some of the line work. I think that's how I'm going to have to go about it. See, this is where the process starts screwing with my mind. Um, you know, because I want to do this in like three layers, but, you know, challenging, challenging. Okay. Let's just do the building. Let's just go with the building first. You know, I guess those lines in between the roof tiles, I can just kind of blur those or something. I don't know. Let's, let's just start mixing up a color here for this blue grayish stone. And none of us notice either, says Kenneth. So, yeah. Seems that way. Nobody pointed it out, so fair enough. Okay, um, let's start over here. <laughs> let's start over here where it's a little less important so that I can just test it. Ooh, that looks really dark, huh? Ugh, it's gonna, it's tricky, right? It's gonna trick my brain. It's gonna make me think it's dark, but I, I know it's not that dark. I know, I know in my heart, it's not that dark, actually. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. And, and watch when the painting's finished, I'm going to say, remember how dark that looked on that one layer? And now, look at it now. It's not that dark. It's only because it, it has a lot of water in it, so it's going to look... It's gonna dry. But for you guys, it's gonna look dark right now because it's wet. I'm just gonna hit everything. This kind of mixture right now. Oh boy, I hope this one turns out good. I hope this one turns out good. All I can say. Let's keep this wet just a little bit longer. Oh, I went right over the red. Okay, well, that decides it. I went right over the red domes there. I can't even see that I drew them in there. I really need to draw my sketches darker. I'm always afraid to, like, draw it too dark for some reason. 
you know, before I do the painting part, and then I can't see, and then I can't see what I did. It's really annoying. Man, I totally just ruined my mixture there, but I guess we're just going to put these in. Or at least try to right now. Oh yeah, I'm going dark with this one. Uh, the name of this color, I mean, they're not, they're all different colors, so. I'm glad you're enjoying that book, uh, Uncle Bosco. That's a, it's, it's, it really is a good book. I really need to go back and, uh, explore it. I mean, I haven't looked at it in, like, over a year or something. You know, it's been a while <laughs> since I've really actually, like, looked at any books or anything. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely been a good one for me in the past. It's kind of, it's kind of one, one of the first ones I read on watercolor and it just made so much sense. I was like, all right, this is the one to, this is what I'm going to follow. You know, there's no, there's no reason to sit there and read a billion different books. It's like, you know what, I found one. This one makes sense to me. I'm just going to just go with it, you know. Okay, I need to get that, like, bluish-gray color back for the building. I'll finish the top of it real quick here. Sorry, you guys are getting a glare. Man, that does look dark, doesn't it? Ooh. Yikes, okay. It's all right, it's all right. I thought it would dry lighter, but it's still pretty wet. It's not dry yet, so it'll dry lighter. I hope. Uh, which shade? I mean, I'm, I'm using like all these colors, so and I'm mixing them together, so it's hard to, it's hard to say what's going on here. There's a bunch of different colors mixed together. You know, there's some yellow ochre in there, making it more green. There's blues and grays and reds. It's just grays, you know. It's just grays of, of stuff. All right, so what I need to do, to be honest, I need to connect this thing to the foreground. It needs to just be a big wash. That's what I'm feeling. But not just like a, a flat wash, right? It needs to be like a wash of, of just a lot of different things. You know, we need to like... Bring it down. Make it interesting. We'll keep like some little dots and stuff there in some areas. It needs to be lighter back here, like as it goes back. Same thing back here. You know, like lighter and 
extrule and stuff. This thing is, is so valuable. You gotta have one of these. What's going on, Bruce? Thanks for tuning in. What was the question you asked that they couldn't explain? I'm just curious. Empty tomb. I think that's what you just said, right? What kind of paper do I have? It's a Arches Cold Press 140 pound watercolor paper. So this is where this is where everything's gonna be tricky, right? So I gotta let's get some red in here. This is where some red roofs coming in. Oh, okay. How is the background differentiated by the foreground? Because his background was hard to tell from the foreground. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have like either contrast or contrast, color, value, you know, stuff like that. You know, less, more suggested and stuff. I don't know what I'm doing to here, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. We're, <laughs> you know, this is, I, I struggle a lot with these kinds of foregrounds and stuff. So this will, this will be a, like a miracle if this comes out looking decent, I think. Hopefully not. Hopefully it will come out looking decent, but you know, it's just something I struggle a lot with. So, you know, simplifying and shapes and stuff and not overworking it. Always trying to see it as a whole, you know? It's always a struggle. It's so easy to like put so much into it and then realize you went a little, did a little too much. Yeah, edges too, Edge, yeah, edges definitely. Sharpness, that's what I was saying, contrast. Contrast in everything, Car contrast in value, brightness, which is value, brightness, edges, softness. You know, there's softness in the background here, hard edges here. You know, I could put, I could define the mountains a little bit more back there and just have them be, you know, I could put, I could really lightly glaze over there, have like a semi, hard edge back there, but is it really necessary? I mean, at this point, not yet, but I might end up adding another layer of mountains or something back there, but for right now, it, it's fine, it's fine. You know, we're kind of in the middle of the painting here still, so it's hard to judge like if it would be necessary, you know? Let's dry this real quick. You know, I, I don't think I really wanna dry it actually uh, to be honest, I want to try to put in some windows in places and have them kind of bleed a bit. Uh, so I wonder if I can actually, tr let's, let's try it at least before I go too far. Do like some dry brushing windows. If I can. You know, I'm always experimenting, always trying new things, you know, I'm trying stuff here. This isn't really new, but let's try a window. Let's try it over here. 
think this is it's pretty uh dry almost so this dark value will let me know it'll kind of let me know like if I went, if I didn't go dark enough in other places or... And the reason I'm putting this on when the paper is kind of damp is because I, I want it to have a soft edge. It's going to just slightly bleed out a little bit. Gosh, I can't even see what I'm doing. Got so much, uh, getting so much glare. I don't know why that looks so green when I'm using it. It's literally like a red-brown I'm using. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying. The opacity could be. Oh, I missed. I totally missed the roof there. Oh my gosh, I knew something was looking weird. All right, I'm gonna put in like a red roof right there, right across here. I knew something was weird. Totally missed it. I totally missed it, guys. Okay, um, that's all right. Still got time. Still got time. So architecture is still pretty new to me. You know, I've done I've done a little bit of it, but sometimes it's like it's hit or miss. You know, sometimes it's really good, and then sometimes it's like, ooh, that was a that was a struggle. And this one, I'm not sure where it's at yet. Could be a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, that's really dark. Okay, that's what I was trying to get earlier. It's just very easy to overdo this kind of stuff. But this is really focal point here, so I want to be careful. I want to make sure I get... Some good stuff going on right at this area. And you know, I'm not trying to be like so perfect about all this. You know, that's the whole point is like I'm trying to make this loose, I'm trying to make it a painting, you know? I'm not trying to like do like a detailed rendering of what's there, what's going on. But you can see we're kind of in the middle here between like darks, putting darks in here and, and having a bunch of mid-tones. So it looks a little bizarre. And this is always the stage that's challenging to push through because this is where you always start to question yourself. Like, oh, what am I doing? Is this looking good? Like, oh gosh. And most artists, they kind of, even myself, sometimes I give up at this stage. I'm like, ooh, like I don't know what I'm doing. But I know for this one, I gotta just keep pushing through. Just mixing up color for um, this roof here. I need to put that in there. It's gotta be in there. This is where I kinda get lost sometimes. Those, uh, if Uncle Bosco is still here, this is where I get lost in those stages of Urban Sketcher. You know, it's like I'm in between the midtones and the darks. So I'm like not really sure what's where I'm at, what's going on. Like, it's challenging. It's always challenging. But, doing my best here. What's going on, Nathan? Thanks for tuning in. Just painting a loose 
sketch here, kind of, of whatever this is, cathedral. Or at least trying to. Yeah, I think that helped. I think that was needed. That little roof there. Yeah, the ugly stage, exactly. That's exactly what this is. Sometimes it never leaves the ugly stage. <laughs> Sometimes it's always just ugly. And that's a tough that's a tough day. That's a tough painting, you know. And this this one I knew this one could be tough. I knew this one could be tough. But uh let's see if I can keep going. Keep pushing through. Glad to hear that, Michael. Yeah, the um, yeah the uh, that brush, this brush is uh, this one's really awesome. Really awesome. Been using it for a while now. My favorite brush, man. <laughs> I try to pull it off every time, Michael. I try, man. I have gone off the. I, I am crazy, man. I am crazy to try this, but um. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling pretty crazy right now. I'm like, ugh. Okay. I think this this is the part where I gotta slow down. I gotta I gotta really figure out like, okay, where what what do I do? What do I go from this from here? You know, we got some nice things going on. We got some nice subtlety here. We got some softness and things happening. Now it's just like, don't get too crazy with it and just take my time. Just slowly figure this out, right? You know, there's some good thing. There's some good things happening here. So I'm just looking at it on my computer screen because it's, it's a way that I can see it without like standing up and looking at it. So if I'm looking at this thing as a whole, you know, this area is definitely competing a bit with the building. So this part needs to be, you know, we'll figure out this foreground. I think towards the edges and stuff, we're gonna kind of leave it alone for the most part. I want all the detail to be like right around this building and this dome. And then slightly just fade out as we go back, so. Oh, Nathan, you did a, you did a painting of this same cathedral last year? Well, I definitely don't wanna see yours, bro. I definitely don't wanna see yours, it's gonna just It's it's really just going to um, blow mine out of the... It's going to make mine look like garbage. <laughs> but, I mean, we all got different ways of painting and stuff, so it's all good. Thanks, Nora. I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, enjoy the live streams. Yeah, it's, it's cool that I'm able to live stream these. Okay. Uh... Yeah, the sky came out really well, actually. It doesn't look that good on the screen, but it's actually a lot better person. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're going to need to do some line. I'm trying to figure out which brush to use. I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm stuck at the moment. <laughs> My brain is, like, skipping. You know when you have, like, a CD that's skipping and you can't get past it? I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm skipping right now in my brain. I'm like, oh, what, what, what part's next? What, what's going on? Okay. Um, you know, this area could definitely need some more definition and over here. So yeah, I think we just keep working on the building and then, then we just, we move out. Cause I don't want to do any detail down here. That's going to be unnecessary. So I'd rather work on the building first and then, because that's my focal point, and then I'll move down. I think that's the best way to go about it. You know, usually I like plan all this in my mind before I start painting, but sometimes it just doesn't go as planned. <laughs> 
So yeah, I have to like think about it. Just a bit. And now I'm like, I don't even know what color to use here. Kind of mixing up some color. Yeah, it's not meant to be perfect, you know what I'm saying, so. That's a good, that's a good, interesting, uh, that's an interesting idea, Enrique. Maybe some white gouache to do some windows in the foreground, except I'm not going to use gouache, I'll just use watercolor. I use white watercolor, but uh, same thing, same idea. It's all the same, kind of. Not really the same, but kind of the same. Okay, so... Whew. I'm really afraid to put like some lines up here on this dome. This is... This is what I'm kind of dreading right now, but... not as dark as it looks on the screen it's really like a it's really like a red but it's it's not really opaque it looks so much darker on the camera there like a lot darker for some reason i think just cuz it's it's wet I have some cooler secondary shadows. You mean that I need to put in or? Yeah, I know there's like a shadow on this side of this little tower thing. There is some like other shadows here, but. There actually is supposed to be like a orange light on this building, like the last bit of sunlight, but just we're skipping that. Don't say anything. Okay, let's tone this down a bit because I kind of lightened it up to show you guys, but it's not really that bright. Something like that. Yeah, be sure to hit the uh, thumbs up button. There you go. Thanks, Enrique. Uh, <laughs> yeah, be sure to be sure to hit the like button, folks. I haven't really been uh, promoting that as well. But uh, yeah, be sure to hit the like button if you're watching. If you like what you're seeing here, I really like the softness of this dome, but I, I feel like there's a part of it slightly.
Let's see, okay. We're about, we're about 30 minutes into the painting, I guess. But 45 minutes into the whole entire thing. Not bad. I think we're making good time. You know, I'm not in a not in a hurry or anything, but I just always I was trying to think of these as if like if I was painting it from life or something. This is actually a different tower, so I wanted to like try to give depth to this thing if I could differentiate it from the building. I'll just put windows back on it, but for now, it's all right. How's it going, everybody on Facebook? Thanks for tuning in. EJ Mendoza, what's happening on Facebook? And uh, Peggy as well. Thanks for tuning in. Glad to hear that, Braille Gamer. Thanks for tuning in, greatly appreciated. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we need like slight, slight shadow on this thing here. And that's going to separate it from this building as well, because it's, it's a little in front. Doesn't need to be that dramatic, though. Kind of just killed it, but... Uh, it's a bit dark, eh? Not really. Uh, do I draw the outlines for my paintings? Yeah, I do. I usually do a sketch before I paint. But I can't really see the sketch anymore, so I kind of have to just wing it, you know. Since I crazily painted over everything. <laughs> I I hope so, uh, Uncle Bosco, man. I hope so. 
I never, I never feel like I, I erase my doubts, but I, I try to. It's just so weird because on the screen everything looks so much darker, but I think it's just my camera, you know, it's really not. I wish you guys could really see what it actually looks like. You know, these darker, this dark line right here is the same color as this, you know, it's just, it's all the same, but for some reason it just looks so weird here. But, uh... Yeah, this one, I'll, tr I'll try to do my best here. Um, that's what I always try to do. We'll just, we'll see what happens. I think we just start moving downward. I think we start moving downward here. Uh, I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush. Just trying to clean it off pretty well here. Thanks, Braille Gamer. Appreciate it. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if I'm going to be able to write a book that will ever be good as all the other books that are already out there, you know. Um, that's for sure. So, okay. Focus, right? This is our focus. So everything right around here is kind of a little bit important, but not as important as this. And then this stuff is definitely not as important. So that's what I'm going to try to keep in mind. I'm going to try to remember here. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, this big blank area, it's, it's interesting, but it's definitely got to go, right? It's definitely has to go.
So I'm trying to connect a lot of these shapes together, at least visually. I don't really have to like completely connect them, right? As long as, as long as our eye, you know, I want the viewer to fill in some of this as well too. That's another part of it, right? We, we don't want to, for me personally, this painting type of painting that I'm doing, we want the viewer to kind of fill some of it in as well, right? So, Hmm. Sorry, folks, just trying to get an interesting color here. Um, Yeah, the only thing about books is like, you just have to be able to apply what you read. <laughs> That's the challenging part, right? Is like, like you can read it and understand it. Like, okay, I know this seems to be the focal point in this stuff, but like, you know, what do I do here now? Like, what do, how do I, what do I do? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's one of those things like, it's all, you just have to go for it. You just have to take risks and like I'm, I'm willing to ruin this painting to, to try to make it good. And I'm going just straight by feeling here. Like I was just looking at the painting and I saw like, you know what? I want like softness right there. I don't know. There's nothing, there's no, no one was telling me to do that. There was nothing there. It was just like, just like, you know what? I, I don't know why, but I kind of know why. But I, I just felt it like, okay, that was just too much right there. So I just, just went for it. I don't, is that going to ruin the, the painting, you know, um, I don't know, but I tried it, you know. So we're kind of getting, you know, this is leading us over here. I think I broke that line because it was kind of stopping us from coming back. So, yeah, I don't have, we don't really have a great composition here, but the, I always struggle with that. Composition is like, I'll figure it out when I'm when I'm dead, you know, <laughs> like pretty much like even here I can just break this roof. You know, I don't I don't know. Um just trying trying things, you know. I think we need a bigger brush. I need a bigger brush now. Yeah, I definitely want stuff to be... It's almost like how loose do I want to get? Do I want like, I could have it like drips dripping down and say, you know, I can make it like crazy that I've never really done before, but I don't know that that's all necessary. <laughs> Just fun, you know. Bring more abstractness to this. 
But yeah, I, I don't really know. Um, I'm not really sure where to go from here. Thanks, Braille Gamer. Have a good one. Take care, man. Appreciate it. Hope everything goes well. Let's just do this. Just loosen it up a bit. When in doubt, I just add some splatters to this thing, man. You know, it's like... I got one right in the sky. Gosh darn it. That's all right. We if we can add more of them, they'll look okay. It'll fit in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost I'm almost to the point of overworking this, so I just gotta I don't know. Just gotta make something out of the bottom here and like just call it done. You know? It's like that's pretty much it. Ah, oh, why does it look so dark? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this one, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Let's uh try to like soften some of this down here. Just let it just let it do its thing, you know. It's just You know? Because I don't know what I'm doing, so maybe the watercolor can figure it out, you know? It's like... I don't know, folks. I don't know. But I... <laughs> Yeah, the painting is busier. I know. I don't like. I don't like it being like that. To be honest, let's just dry it and look at it. The problem is, you guys are seeing it like way more contrasty than it actually is. Like a lot of this stuff isn't that dark. But yeah, I knew this foreground would be a struggle. I knew this foreground would be a struggle. But I mean, when you look at the, the problem is you look at this photo, like, look what I'm working with. Like, and I'm actually, mine is not cropped that high up. My photo is actually bigger because I have a big, bigger aspect ratio. So I'm actually seeing more foreground than you guys in this reference. So 
there's just a lot going on there you know it's like how do i if i paint nothing there then it looks like there's nothing there you know that's the problem is like do i want it to look like there's nothing there i guess so you know i don't know that's the pro i don't i don't know what paintings are supposed to look like that's the that's the problem i guess i don't, I don't know what it's supposed to look like <laughs> And if I don't know what it's supposed to look like, then who who does? You know, that's the thing. It's like Can you use the pen to find line at all? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know that that would add anything. Just more detail that I wouldn't want in there. So let's look at it from afar. Let's try to look at it from far away. Let's, let's see what it looks like. So it's quite a mess, huh? It's quite a mess. Quite a mess. We're just missing color, you know? We're missing like... Ugh. There's not much more I can do to it, you know? If I keep just messing with it and putting stuff... I just keep putting stuff on, it's just not gonna do anything for it, and... Ugh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, another challenging one. I think it defeated me. I feel defeated. But you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes the watercolor wins. Sometimes the painting wins. That's how it goes. Nothing I can do about it. I tried. But uh I'm defeated. Painting came out victorious. Or the subject rather. Subject matter. Yeah, I was I was thinking uh highlighting something somewhere with like the white watercolor. Not white by itself, but you know. I just don't know where where I would put it or what I would or what I want to do. Hello Kim, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. You know, there's lines here I could add in. I don't know if that's going to really help it, though, because I, I kind of... Uh, maybe it needs more shadowing. More shadowing up here. You guys are looking at it kind of bright. There we go. It's a bit better. Maybe it just needs more shadowing.
Yeah, I get what you're saying. If I lifted it, it'd be softer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. You look great, great from a distance, falls apart up close. That's a lot, thing a lot of people want in their work. Yeah, that's what I want in my work. Yeah. True. Very true. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not too mad at the foreground anymore, really. It's not really bothering me that much anymore. It's almost like some of this is just too hard still. Or too pronounced, but... Now that I've added like these subtle kind of shadows and stuff, it's really not too bad, I think. I'm just like trying to soften like a few certain areas. I don't know if it's doing anything, but Yeah, I think, yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. Someone had a good point on Facebook, Jesse. They said, I would darken the background a little bit where the mountains are. I was just thinking that earlier because it almost feels like we only have a foreground and then a back and then a sky. So it almost, if I had like another tone in here for the mountains, it might help. I had that problem actually with a plain air painting I did. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... I had a very, very similar problem. I'll show you guys. Yeah, this one right here. So this painting I did, I had an interesting problem because you can see it's mostly foreground here, right? And then I had just this sky, but there was these other hills back here. And when I came home, I darkened all this area. And now it looks like there's a sky, some other mountains, and then foreground. So that maybe that's what we're missing here, kind of just a little, you know, I can still keep it soft, but maybe just like a little glaze back there of some mountains and maybe that'll help bring more contrast to, yeah. I don't know, let's try it, let's try it because everything else, um, everything else, I feel good about the building now. I feel good about the foreground now that it's dry and I'm kind of getting used to it, I think. Yeah, I think it just feels like there's only t two things. So that was a good point. Thanks for pointing that out and, and reminding me a bit here of what I wanted to do earlier. I get so distracted. There's so many things I want to work on in this thing. It's like... Oh, Uncle Bosco, are you talking about this building here? Or are you talking about this building? You said the dome. The building between the tower and the dome looks a little flat. The tower and the dome both have shadow definition, but yeah. 
I get what you're saying. Yeah, but see how I, how I kind of I've lost uh, I've lost the steps of that Urban Sketcher book. It's not always this easy, you know. As oh one two three steps, you know. It's like I wish it was that easy. I wish it was just like oh one two three steps. But every painting is so like if I were to paint this one over, like I would do it differently. But probably not going to paint it over, paint it again. Just trying to mix up a subtle glaze color here. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there needs to be like a differentiation here from, yeah, yeah, this building. There should even be. Honestly, there should be a shadow here on this building too, but um, that's a little too light, but it should be fine, maybe. Yeah, right, let's let's try let's try these background mountains. Let's see, what this will look like. Let's do the uh, yeah, let's do all the mountains first, and then I'll see if I want to add in that second mountain here in the foreground. So there's like. There's two ranges of mountains here. Yeah, I think this is really necessary. I think this is really necessary, actually. I ran out of color. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, hold on. See if I can soften that top edge of it. Hopefully. Is it a town or a city I'm painting? I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's just a lot of buildings. So that's, what we're, that's where we're at right now. Something like that. Definitely added a little bit of differentiation there. Let's try to add, see if I can add that. next mountain in there. I mean, I know the mountains should be suggested, but I guess in the beginning, they just weren't suggested enough, you know? But that's okay. It's, that's why I'm doing this, right? It's all learning experience, it's all learning process. Yeah, probably should have waited a few minutes. It's all right.
Thank you, Libby. Appreciate it. Yeah, that really helped add like more harmony to it as well, I think. It's hard for you guys to see. Let me dry this thing real quick so we can take a proper look at it. Well, I think this one's officially overworked, right? Oh yeah, Jesse, de it definitely added some depth, no doubt. I mean, it was definitely needed. Yeah, and I knew it needed that. No doubt. Looks better in person, I will say. For some reason, it's it's kind of getting washed out on camera for some reason. But, oh well. Well, at least the sky looks good, right, guys? At least, at least I've painted a good sky. <laughs> I think if I just cut the rest off, I'll just sell this little strip of sky, you know? If anybody wants a painting, a really thin painting of a sky, let me know. One last thing. Oh, never say last, right? <laughs> Not for me, anyway. Just kidding. I am going to finish this thing up really soon. Let's just try to do something with this. I don't know. I don't know. Is that going to do anything? I don't know. But you know what? I'll try it. Whatever. At this point... Oh, okay. Well, 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 well. Yeah, look at it again after I eat. I might love it. Yeah, I don't know if I love it, but I might think it looks okay. Let's take the tape off. Maybe that'll help. It's always some psychological thing. You know, you take the tape off, feels like you're done. And then you don't want to mess with it anymore. And then you go like, oh, wow, it looks really good, actually. Glad to hear that, Candy. I'm glad somebody learned something from this this uh, disaster of whatever process that I have. I got to read that Urban Sketcher book again. I got to I got to start practicing. I need to do some more plain air. That's my problem. I really need to get out and paint from life. I had such a better. Uh, I feel like I had such a better process and everything when I was doing more plain air. Because, you know, when you when you do like a small little thing, well, really the sketchbook, I mean, it's not much smaller than a painting. I mean, the paintings are a little bit smaller because I still tape them. But, you know, doing this in like 20 minutes in the blinding sun with the wind, like... How was I able to create something that good? And then this, I sit here for an hour and a half, can't even create anything. You know, it's like, it's just something about plain air. I mean, they're not always good. They're not always good. Cloudy days are pretty challenging. This thing, this kind of lighting is pretty challenging as well. You know, it's just one of those, one of those things. But man, I just, I love getting outside. And doing these on from life. Yeah, look at this sunset, man. I mean, like... Yeah. Uh, I miss it. I miss it. Uh, just too busy right now.
But anyway, guys, there's the uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll call this one done. Let's sign it so I can so I can just not think about this thing anymore and move on with my life. Uh, we'll just sign it right here. I don't even care. Um Just kidding, I do care. Not really, I don't care that much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Signed, and we're done. All right, guys, this one will go in the trash pile next to all the other paintings in my room. So, cool. I hope you guys enjoy the experience at least. Um, <laughs> it's not that bad, I guess. You know, th there's stuff I like about it, but you know, there's always, there's always things that annoy me, you know? There's always things I don't like. Always have those, right? It's like... I know these windows aren't there, but I want them there. Okay. Whatever, we're done. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. I'm not gonna throw it away, but I'll throw it in the uh, throw it in my room and never look at it again until somebody buys it or something. If no one buys it, yeah, it just looks very. Uh, gosh, my webcam does not do it the colors really well at all. This one is very gray, you know, it's very gray. It's very, very something, I don't know. <laughs> it's very purple, purple and reds, purple and red violet. But, uh, Yep. Well, I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, yeah, this was definitely a tough painting. It's definitely a tough painting. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna it's gonna pop something somewhere. Let's see. Let's look at the different. Like, all right, I'm gonna look at the thumbnail right up here of the photo, right? So I'm gonna like what's the what's the difference? You know, when we're looking at the thumbnail of the photo, and I'm talking what's the difference for the main focal point, right? Like foreground buildings. What's 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 something that's different here? Let me let me put it on my webcam. This will be if we look at the bottom down here down here. What's the difference here? I mean, definitely there's like more red in the sky and everything. I'm not going to get the perfect colors perfect. But, you know, there's definitely less, there's more mountains back there. I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. I don't know. The photo lied and your painting told the truth. Oh, I don't like the truth because <laughs> that's, that's not a good truth. <laughs> anyway, you could lift out the two sections on the dome. Oh, you mean like the lines? 
Here, bloop, bloop. I was just thinking about trying that. You really want me to do that, huh? You really want me to, Nathan. <laughs> Maybe more contrast in the foreground. I was thinking that too, man. Like, should I make the foreground darker? But... I want my, I want my contrast to be here, you know? But you weren't going for realism. That's true. I mean, well... I'm going for realism in the sense that I want it to look, I don't want it to look abstract, right? I'm not going for photorealism, obviously, but I'm going for realism in the fact that it's like realistic. Like I'm going for, you know, I had this book. Now his paintings, his paintings are a lot larger than mine. You know, his are like two or three times the size of mine, but you know, I'm going for like, let me see. I have a book of Venetian landscapes right here. I'll, sh I'll try to find one. You know, I'm going for realism in the sense of... I don't know. What's a good one? You know, when you... I'm going for it in the sense of, like, you know, when you see it, it's a painting. Like, we look at it up close. It's definitely a painting. Like, look at his windows. It's like one big brush stroke, like, but when you look at it, I mean, look at the windows back here too, guys. I mean, look at this. Look how he just paints this in. It's so loose, but when you see it, it's, you know, it's real. Look at the water. You know, that's, that's what I'm, I'm kind of trying to go for, right? I'm going for like this real sketchy kind of look. And if I, I wish I could show you guys the water up close, but yeah, there we go. See what I'm saying? So that's what I'm like, that's what I'm going for, right? I'm, I'm going for like this feeling of, of reality without having to paint all of the reality, you know? Like, look, this looks real, right? But we know it's just strokes, just paint strokes. So, I guess that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to, trying to like, this is the, this is what I'm trying to go towards, right? You know, this sense of realism that's, that's realism, but not real, I guess you could say. I don't know. But when you look at mine, it's like, nah, meh, nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good point, Romare. He says, if no one saw the reference photo, they can get the feeling and atmosphere you were conveying. It's a good artwork. Yeah, that's always true. Like, if you didn't have the reference photo here, like, there's no reference. Nobody that sees this painting online or in person, they're not going to always compare it to the reference photo, right? So, have I looked at Wyatt Water stuff? No, I have not. I have not. But... Yeah, I, I think you're right. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess what I'm looking for is like, I think, um, Yeah, I can try that with the dome, actually. I do want to try at least one line here or something, like real small. We can just try and see what happens, right? Worst thing that's going to happen is that I ruin this painting, but it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, it's just a painting. Is that doing anything? I forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> Hopefully someone remembers what I was just saying. What was I just saying? Too bright? Hmm. 
Well, we got to do the other one now. There's no turning back, folks. There's no turning back. I didn't really want to do this, but... There's no turning back. Yeah, I don't know. Well, there is one more, right? It's not as it's not as uh it's not as pronounced, but and the other ones. Oh, there we go. Okay, maybe that helped it actually. So <laughs> Control Z. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, so what I was thinking is, what I was thinking is, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I think what, I, what, I, what I'm always drawn to is like strong sunlight with shadows and stuff. But this, this, this particular painting doesn't really have that. You know, it's all just in shadow. So I think it, it kind of like hurts my brain to be like, I want it to look differently, even though it can't really look differently. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd have to paint like an entirely different picture for it. like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, basically. I'm basically dumb, that's all. So, all right, folks, I'm done with this one. I'm gonna get some dinner and uh, I'm done messing with this one, so. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the suggestions. Thanks for helping me make this thing just a bit better. Greatly appreciate it. All I can do, man, so all I can do is just try, and uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. So, all right, folks. I'll see you on Thursday. Um, not tomorrow, but probably Thursday. I usually take Wednesdays off, so kind of how I go. That's how I go about it usually. So yeah. Anyway, have a good one, folks. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I never said it this whole time, but you know, check out my website if you want to see other artwork that I do. SchaeferFineArt.com, pen, pen and ink drawings and stuff. Um, yeah, check all that out. I also have a support page, so. If you want to donate to me or something, whatever, you know, check it out. Just go to my website, check it out. And I'm trying to do like a new blog post on there every week now. So I'm becoming a, a writer. So definitely check that out. I've got a new blog coming out every week. That I, that's what I'm, that's my goal. So anyway, take care guys.